Hi there, welcome to Crafty Peep. Happy Monday. If Potter comes on, she's going to say, I'm confused. And you know what? I got home, tried to get on this um, new editing system, and my my computer's not act my computer is acting up and now my phone is acting up trying to transfer the picture so i'm just gonna paint these for uh, my sister's laundry room and thought i'll just get on and see if anybody pops on let me Feels like a Sunday, because usually when you go on a quick vacation, you get home on a Sunday. Hi, Avalon Apples. Are you crafting today? All right. My, it doesn't look like online, my Walmart um, has their uh, Waverly on sale. How about you? Have you been to your Walmart? All right, I think I am going to put on some gloves. Hi, Lavender Flower. Hi, Nana 14. Were you successful, Nana 14, doing what we talked about? Um... I think Lavender Flower needs that. Okay. Again, I wait waited till wait till you see these in the cleaning section. I might have cut off the top, but it says a hundred a hundred pair or something like that. It's a great deal when you find them for a hundred pair. Good deal. No, I'll be cooking dinner. We have leftovers from Friday night for me. And then he's got uh, Avalon apples. I forget. Are you in Wish Wisconsin? Um, or do we eat early like uh, lavender flower eats early? And he, I before we left... I ordered groceries and got him salmon and fingerling potatoes in Ohio. So you're one hour ahead of us. Um, and green beans, I think. So that's what he will be eating. But I can't wait to show you these blue bonnet pictures, but... Um, I guess my computer liked me being gone and didn't want to, didn't want to, yeah, you're an hour ahead of us. Took me forever though. I know. Next time it'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Nana 14. All right. I'm going to start. I just uh, put some Waverly Antique in this bowl. I'm going to squirt some water on it. But my mom and dad had gone up to see the blue bonnets the week before. And she had texted me and said, oh my gosh, there's so many blue bonnets along the way. And this and that. We literally went the whole way. It's an hour and a half not seeing one blue bonnet field. And we're like, how could they be gone in one week? The camera and lighting look really good. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we're going 70 and we're probably 10 miles, maybe 10 miles from our destination. And gobs of cars are pulled over on the freeway. And then I see it. 
And I'm like, stop, stop, stop. And he's like, T, you can't just stop on the middle of the freeway going 70 miles an hour. So we finally get it stopped. And we don't, where we are, we have no, um, let, let, let lavender in. We have no hills or uh, valleys. Hi, lavender flower. Hello. Just trying to Hi get there. It together. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere. What were you doing out there? Um, I was you know, doing some ahead. invoices for my husband for his work. So. Ah. Just give me one second. Let me get it together. So we um, we pulled over and we walked down this steep hill like you would at it, you know, interstate, <laughs> and got some pictures. But then yesterday, going to our second winery, there was cars pulled over and on this FM road. And uh, FM means farm to market. If if you're in the city. Um, and we pulled over, and it was the largest field of blue bonnets that we've ever seen, ever, ever. So down to the right, there was probably five or six uh, photo shoots going on. From you could tell they were like professional photographers uh, with their clients. So that was pretty cool. And then today, Look at your room. It's getting there, huh? It looks good. You know, I moved some things away so I can have more light come through and I can be a better Mrs. Kravitz that way because the house it is for sale. Good. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, but I did that um, 10 minute little video on the way home and I go, oh my gosh, I forgot to even mention the blue bonnets. He goes, the whole purpose we went up here. I go, I know. And then I forgot to mention, um, oh, there's two things I forgot to mention. <laughs> oh, well. So the uh, video wasn't cooperating with me to upload. It says I have 5,048 pictures to download from my, my uh, cell phone to my computer since the last time I did it. Oh, God, that's a lot. I know. So, hi Nana fourteen. Hi Avalon apples. Let me go post that you're live. Um, I think I did in general in the posse, and then I did over at White Tigers. Oh, okay. So. So since I couldn't do that, I'm like I might as well just come on and paint these sticks and be live since I can't be live until Wednesday. So uh, how was your weekend? It was just just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I highly recommend it to anybody that can get away. It felt like we were only gone for 24 hours, but it truly both of us said it truly felt like we'd been gone for a week. We did so much yesterday. So I think I gave, gave Liam about a million kisses. Aww. That he was, was so cute. Saturday, right? I had Saturday. him Friday night. Aww. And, and on Saturday, we uh, had a birthday. It yeah. was just, just a close family. And he he could care less about his gifts. And how old? He's, uh, he's little. Two. Aww. He could care less about his gifts. All he wanted to do was walk behind Adeline everywhere. Aww. It was we, a really nice weekend. Yay. We drove up to um, Round Top today. And um, if you watched HGTV, I believe, uh, Junk Junkies, Junk Gypsies uh, with their hot pink truck. I got a picture of it, but nobody, none of the junkin antique places were open today. My friend said, no, the big one was in March. And I don't think you're going to find much open. And sure enough, we did not. 
that luckily uh, the wineries were open yesterday. Some closed at four, but um, the one that we really loved stayed open until six. So we got to do three wineries and buy three. Um, I like to buy the wine glass when I'm at there. So we got three wine glasses and two bottles of wine. Uh, one has mango in it. It was so good. So sweet. Um, and just being out with nature and listening to the birds sing. It was just very, very relaxing. It was kind of chilly. I had a sweatshirt on. Just what the doctor ordered. It rained here all weekend. Oh, yuck. So the kids didn't get to play outside, but we managed. And you told Adeline that's exactly what her little crops needed. A little rain. She's like, I really want to play outside. I go, I know, but you know that your mom's not going to let you play outside with wind or rain. Hi, JP Kramer. Hi, JP. I heard you made, is it called purple tuna fish that, that Aunt Lissa makes? Are we going to see you and Natalie next uh, Saturday up at Nanny and Papa's? Hi, Nana. I got to get to, I'm on my last uh, package of, of um, paint sticks, so I might get online because that's how other people order them, and they're the same price. They're 97 cents per packet. Um, it's just storing a case of paint sticks. So, but I I use about 12 a week, or I have been. You could probably, one. if you buy them by the case, you'll probably get them cheaper. I think somebody said they're still 97 cents, but that's still, it's pretty cheap. Yeah, but you could order, look on different websites. La la. Um, Hi, la la. Beets. Yes, the tuna dip with beets. So good. I know. I I haven't. I love beets, and she hasn't told me that recipe. I'm like, well, mercy. Did anybody do any crafting this weekend? We fell in love with this bed and breakfast that we stayed in years ago at in Brenna. <laughs> And it is for sale. Well, so for 24 hours, we acted like it was ours and we were eating and we're like, okay, well, we picked out our favorite Mexican restaurant and we there's a Dollar Tree. Bob came with me into the Dollar Tree and uh, he goes, we don't need to go to a Dollar Tree when we're in Brenham looking at the blue bonnets. I go, I forgot my um, makeup wipes. And I went to go see, I went in there to see if they had any the nautical stuff. And um, so my uh, both of our phones were like almost dead. And so I said, you can stay in here and keep my uh, phone charged up. And he goes, see if they have. And he like listed like three things, like model, model glue for cars and this and that, uh, varnish for, cleared varnish for this and that. <laughs> And he was treating it like it was going to be a Walmart in there. I said, go ahead and turn the car off and come in there with me. So he came in and he put bungees in the car and, or in the, in the basket and some rope. And I got one of those. I, if he comes up here, I'll have him bring it in here. It's one of those round. Um, it's in the party section. I don't know if you all have it, but it has the scallopy edges. And I've been seeing it on some destashing sites. I think I bought one, but uh, they had two left. So if I bought another one, that they are so nice for crafting with and making um, a three-tier tray or just a round tray with, then you put beads on it for the feet of it. So he said that wasn't that wasn't too bad in there. So my, so we get home and call the realtor, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Like. Yeah, just 
just a tad bit over what we're looking to spend. <laughs> Dang it. I already had it built in. Our, instead of doing a bed and breakfast, I was going to do a crafters, like a scrapbooking, quilting retreat. And I had it all oh, worked out. Been nice. I just need to find a, a millionaire investor or a great aunt, great uncle millionaire that has died and has left it in the will that we just have not been notified yet of. <laughs> I would love to help you, but my millions are tied up. <laughs> <laughs> it is so awesome. So the property is so awesome. So, and it's only, um, it's an hour outside of Houston, an hour and a half, an hour and a half from League City. So uh, it would be doable. And so I, you know, Melissa uh, is my is my sister, but she's also my best friend. I go, Bob says I couldn't leave you all, and she goes, do it. It's an hour out of town, and basically we get together once a month anyway. I said, I know, I know. The house was built in eight. 1880, I think. It still has the same hardwood and stuff, he said. I said, oh, no, we've stayed there a couple times. But the little cottage that we rented, it was so quaint, but I have to get on VRBO or a Airbnb, I think, because people in the um, contact or the little sign-in guest book said that was the best breakfast and this and that. And I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> We didn't get a breakfast send off. We got uh, these little like breakfast muffins, but they, you could tell they were pre-made. I mean, like from Costco or something. Bob ate a couple. He thought they were good, but it wasn't a bed and breakfast breakfast that you get used to, but we were the only ones in there. So we're like, is she going to leave it on the front porch and text? I, we didn't know how she was going to do that. And, and she didn't. <laughs> But it, it was oh, a cool God. little cottage that we had. Focus your screen. Oh, it shouldn't do that anymore. I have a brand new um, webcam. Dang it. Yeah, you're pixelated. Dang it. Let me reload my screen to make sure it's not me, but I'm pretty sure it's not me. Um, Kim said I might take it off of autofocus when I'm moving around. Am I pixelated for anybody else? Yeah, I reloaded you, and you're just, a, you are a tad pixelated. You could tell it's the autofocus. <coughs> you're clear right now. All right. Did you see um, those flowers that Gia made? Uh, last week, I think she said she put it in craft lunch. Craft lunch. Let me go look at them. I'm so behind on everything. It's like fabric flowers uh, that Turquoise Valentine did on her um, crafting channel. And you're a you're a sewer, so it'll even come easier to you. And who posted them? Uh, Gia posted uh, the pot of flowers that she did in their fabric. In craft lunch? Uh huh. It's probably a week ago, but I know Tracy and them okay. have did some crafts since then. I'm just gonna yeah, there's, a, there's a lot in there. Let's see. Uh, my crazy life is gonna post in. Um, Recipes given us her Italian recipes. Hello. Oh, look at how pretty. Isn't that neat? 
Yeah, that is. Oh, well, you have oh, a lot of stuff in there now. I have to catch up. Very nice. How was your week in Avalon Apples? I still haven't even gotten the notification of your live yet. Dang it. Stupid YouTube. Um, when was I on? Was I on Saturday? Um, that there was two of me and oh, it was crazy. I guess it was Saturday. We had to come back on three different times. And then there was two of me on the screen and pretty in pink text and said, I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but that's just too funny. I said, oh my God, oh, this God. world does not need two Tammy Pringles. Have you had a chance or sent Andy out to uh, Walmart to see if your Waverly is on sale? Because a lot of people are having theirs for sale, but mine's. It, when I ordered the groceries uh, today, it didn't look like any of it was for sale. No, and he was there yesterday, darn it. I didn't have him look. I have to go check because I'm running low on my, you know, the, our favorite color. Um. The um, Bahama and the in the white. Yeah, music. I'm running low on that one. I think I'm actually used up. You know, you're at the bottom end. Of it. Yes. So I have to get that in. Oh, I saw a scrapper or a crafter today. Like, if you're going to go eat dinner, but you're painting, like I, I want to use that for something not to lose it. And so you just spray real heavily some paper towels and then you just roll it up and it'll be fine when you get back to it. Mm -hmm. All right. I let one dry up Saturday when I was making uh, that little box. And did you see that little spring uh it was a stand-up thing with a little white thing, a white truck that said, like, Fresh Market Flowers or something. It turned out. Yes, I saw that. Okay. I have to catch up on your weekend videos. and. Nana 14, how was your weekend? One of the goodwill things. Are you guys going to get together? When? <laughs> we always do that. <laughs> Nobody's talking to them. We always both start at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I said, are you going to do a retreat again? A retreat, like a crafting retreat? Yeah. On Mother's Day, we go from a Thursday to that Sunday morning. So, yes. Um. That thing I got at Goodwill, um, I thought I paid like uh, $3.99, but Potter looked back and it was $5.99. And I wanted to lay it ladder or horizontal, and I do have it over there that way, but the drawers wouldn't fit in that way. They're meant to be up like a shelf. So um, she said, have your neighbor uh -huh. uh, plane it, cut it and plane it. I'm like... You are so smart. I will ask him if he cares if he's busy. He works full time at Home Depot as a manager or whatever. But um, I'll tell him no rush. But will you do this? So and then right. um, 
Oh, what else? Uh, there was something else I was going to Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The worse my um, arthritis gets, the harder and more painful. <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. Oh, there it goes. I have to have Andy open every jar for me. I can't do it. Well, and if I try it, my fingers cramp worse. up really bad. Uh, yeah, that hurt. I've been using um, some better stuff than Voltaren from uh, Argentina that works better. But uh, And I just used some this morning. But, ooh, that hurt. All right. You look so refreshed, like you had a great weekend. It was. It was great. I came home, gave the doggies a bath, and had a... They've been scratching so much since their last bath. And um, so I gave them another bath with just the um, stuff from the vet. And you have to leave them, you know, just r almost cold water. So that wasn't very nice of me, but hopefully it will make them itch way less. So my sister gave me those two pictures of my grandparents out of her laundry room. So we're going to uh, probably come back with the a dry brush with the ivory and do that. And uh, it's supposed to be, does it look like an ironing board? Yes. Uh, yeah. And then. Uh, it'll, it'll hang out off the end. Then I'll do a, that is so cute. Do, thank you. She'll like it. She's not expecting something. So. JP, if you're still on here, we went by the Blinn, um, the Blinn College in Brenham, and um, I took a picture. It's so the it's a junior college uh, where a lot of kids go two years before they go to A and M, and oh, it's a beautiful campus. But I guess a lot of kids don't think much is happening. Well, my, my, not much is happening in Brenham. It's a pretty sleepy town with, I think there's less than um, like 5,000 residents. That's what the sign says. I don't know how, if Potter was on here, she could tell us the updated. <laughs> oh, right, you have it all to you. Yeah, let me uh, text Karen Lynn because I forgot to. Oh, yeah, I don't have her texting, so. And she'll say, oh, I was sleeping. Um, <laughs> she just did a one of those fabric um, flowers, too. I think everybody's just out because on both ends of Discord, everybody's, like, gone. <laughs> <laughs> And there again, it's running stuff. around in this pretty weather. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. This um, little cottage we were in, the go heading into the bathroom, you could tell was uh, used to be a wall. It was like a one room cottage that they added to. And I stubbed my toe last night going into. The bathroom then no, no no i stubbed my toe coming into the bedroom from the um, kitchen and i was like oh my gosh that hurt and then oh, that's the worst i did it going into the bathroom so i i forgot to oh, look today God. for how your toe hurts to bend so it's probably broke and i forgot to look at it before i put my jokes toes on today Oh, God. Suzanne said the weather is gorgeous. 63 here today. 
Yeah, I think it's 70 here. It is pretty. We started Saturday with warm weather, and then it got rainy, and then it got windy and very, very cold, and then the mountains got snow. <laughs> oh. in Mexico weather. My niece is in Vegas this weekend for her friend's 25th birthday. That's not too far from you, right? Or is it? She's in where? Vegas. New Mexico? Yeah. That's about, <laughs> yeah, about maybe a, maybe an hour away. Okay. 45 minutes. I had my gloves on, then I took them off and forgot to put a new pair on. That's how it goes. Suzanne said, I know my tree sap must be running like crazy. Somebody give me some motivation to get out there and tap them. Mmm. Yes, we bought lo loco honey from uh, a vineyard that has 10 hives, I want to say. So I can't wait to taste uh, that tomorrow. My neighbor has honeybees. Do you get honey from her? No. Once. I'm not a honey fan. I'm just not. I think the only thing I use honey in is when I make like uh, sesame chicken. Ooh, yeah. I'll use it for that, but other than that, no. Suzanne said she loves honey. local honey everywhere she goes. Yeah. I uh, make these protein balls with peanut butter that it takes honey, and then my honey ham in the crock pot takes honey, and then I forget what Abby eats. But she eats honey when she comes over here. I caramelize my ham with guess what? Brown sugar? Nope, but Dr. Pepper. Whoa! I've made a roast in the oven overnight with Dr. Pepper. Uh, ribs. It was yummy. That sounds good. I don't know what I'm going to make for dinner. I'm having leftovers. Do you have Jimmy Chongas in your state? In your close? Yeah. I love, love, love the seafood enchiladas. So that's what I'm having. Leftovers from the other night. But they did have my uh, pickled onions that I love. Uh, uh, she didn't know if it was. She didn't think it was a COVID thing. She thought they were just out. Oh. Suzanne said she makes a honey souffle and it's so delicious. Oh yeah, my Dr. Pepper Suzanne, Dr. Pepper caramelizes so great with it and just keep basting it and it just makes it taste so good. I like to get the you know the tamale meat in red chili that they stuff tamales with? Yeah. I like to make that red chili and I um, I stuff them in instead of the tamale husk and all that for just like a quick cheat I uh, roll them in egg rolls ooh they're so good put that recipe in discord yeah yeah it's so easy it's just like an easy little hack um, did you watch Sandra Rusek today making um, the antipasta salad? I'm going to make that, but we're not an olive family, loving family, so I'm just going to make it without it. I'm, it's No, I didn't see her video. Twisty noodles, feta cheese. Uh, we're going to put the Olive Garden Italian dressing in instead of olives. Um Mozzarella pearls. I'll have to go back and look. But 
while I was in the car, I was doing my grocery shopping with Walmart. I'll make that. <laughs> Nana and Fortune said her weekend was quiet and lazy. Love it. Yes, we sat out on the porch on this little rat tan love uh, love seat last night, and it was pitch black out in the country with not. He goes, listen to that. He goes, what do you hear? I said, some kind of animal. He goes, oh, I think that's a screech now. But besides that, what do you hear? I go, nothing. He goes, exactly. <laughs> but the uh, what's the sky, you thinking? My computer has been doing stuff since I got home. Oh, I was making sure it was you and not me. I was like, because I keep looking at all my stuff. I was like, I don't have anything going on. What's going on? This is me. At for I had to turn it off two, three times. It just would not connect with the internet. And then I my phone was. So I was trying to transfer all those pictures. So hopefully when I get off of here, I can transfer the pictures. Suzanne said she just woke up and she's having coffee with us. Love it. Woo. I thought I took, I do that French vanilla international coffee that you just add hot water. So I usually mm -hmm. take it on vacation. So I did that with two things of Stuvia, Truvia. And she had a little, um, carried there so i pour the water in go to my suitcase no coffee i'm like okay that means i left it on the kitchen table so oh, no. we went to uh he wanted to check out the country club to see how um he'd already done some research a couple hours before i got up so he, he already knew because we live in a private uh, on a private course and all this stuff. So uh, he already knew it was going to be way less expensive to play, to belong to a the country club up there. He goes, man, this is a country club and it really is out in the country. <laughs> but uh, he, we're spoiled because we have the golf cart right by our, you know, garage and the golf course is straight across from the cul-de-sac. So um, he goes, I wouldn't really want to drive 15 minutes to get to the course. I'm like, most people do that, honey. But it's off the table anyway because we can't get our $750,000 house we want. Dang it. Oh, gosh. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. So then we went to there, and then I said, um, well, you got to drive me to – McDonald's I need an iced coffee and he he's from England so he should be like addicted to tea or something but he's not so he drinks nothing in the morning where I really need I only drink one cup of coffee but I really need that cup of coffee or I'm gonna be have a headache so we went to McDonald's and then I got a um sausage egg McMuffin but yeah, I didn't know how that lady from the bed and breakfast was going to bring us our breakfast, but I, it's called a bed and breakfast. So I did think that we were going to get, get it some way if she was going to text me and say, Hey, let me know when, cause it looked like she lived down the hill from the cabin. Cause there was a bigger house back there. I'll have to get online. Maybe I didn't click something. All right. We're going to let that dry for just a second and take this out of the wrappings. So we can do a little dry brush over it. Just busted that. Um, let me see. How 
to fix it. Let's see if a little dab of hot glue fixes that. Suzanne, are you getting more moved into your organiz organizing your craft room? I ordered a um, 12 bin storage for the wall behind me. Right now I have a two, four, six. A six one and a one two three and then a one two three um, so I just want it to be uniformed and the same thing and not hodgepodgey but I ordered it in black because all my other stuff is white so I went didn't want that whole corner to be white well hello Gia uh, we were saying how neat your flowers were so um lavender went and checked those out and karen lynn made uh one the other day so they were they harder than you thought or easier than you thought but i was telling them i went to brenham and oh my i've never we've never seen a bigger field of blue bonnets off this farm road that the we saw this weekend. It was awesome. Uh, okay. All right. That's my creative cloud. Super easy. That's good to know. Using it now mostly for seating stuff. Oh, you had told me that. Yeah. Still need a desk. Did you say you were going to get the one that you can sit down and stand up? I got Bob into a Dollar Tree, Gia, this weekend at Brenham. He said, oh, that wasn't too bad. That, was, that had everything I needed. All right, I'm going to try just to dry brush this, but not dry brush the words. Uh, I'll probably have to go over the words to make it not look weird. Oh, you know what? I can do it and then sand it off where hopefully that'll work. back with that antique wax. This is kind of oh, the cheapest kind of wood that there is, so it's not really looking like I want it to, so you just kind of keep playing with it. Should be another wipey. I don't know if I lost lavender flower or what. 
Oh, nice. Did you all, wait. Did you all buy a place, Gia, yet? I still need a small table in here for when my tiny kiddos come to craft. Nice. Um, Suzanne, you can buy like a, a, a thrift store or a garage sale. You can get TV trays and uh, chop the legs off halfway so little kids can use them. Uh, hi, Ivy Lynn. I just so, sold a tall antique secretary. I hated to part with it. Oh, nice. Sorry about that. No problem. Hi, Ivy Lynn. Hi, Gia. Gia said those fabric are just sold the tall Yes. She, I read it. They're that. what? She said they were very easy to make. The fabric flowers. They're so cute. Should have dried my brush off a little bit more, but no problem. We'll figure it out as we go. Let me do that now. Yeah, Suzanne always uh, put a second hand and upcycled stuff in there. There's a time I really wanted to get all the new stuff in here. I can't imagine having to house hunt. Ugh. super cute it's that cheap 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 wood so uh it's not going on like it normally would you know <laughs> it's not absorbing fast enough what is it not absorbing it um not really Hi, Pretty in Pink. Hi, Pretty in Pink. She was laughing at me, not with me the other night, right, Pretty in Pink? She's like, I just <laughs> couldn't help myself. It was funny. I said, yeah, this world does not need two Tammy Prindles. <laughs> That's funny. All right. And we're going to keep those popsicle sticks together with 
or we're going to keep the uh, paint sticks together with popsicle sticks. And I think they're actually called, they're actually called paint sticks down at uh, Home Depot. I'm dehydrated because I take the pills when we're going on a road trip. So my husband okay. doesn't have to stop every 15 minutes. Um, but they, I call them tongue depressors, but this is what they are. Uh, they're right by the regular paint sticks. Pretty and so, Pink yeah. said, yep, it was cute when I just saw two of you. <laughs> or oh, I read it wrong. Let's see. It was cute when you saw two of you. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm doing every other one. So it's a skinny, skinny side that way, skinny side that way kind of thing. And then we'll oh I think I think our letter since it's Monday we'll do uh, what are you grateful and blessed with and I believe uh, it the letter is D right? I believe. So I am grateful and blessed for my dad. And what are you grateful and blessed with, Lavender, and you all? Um, let's see. I'm grateful for date night. Wow. Like it. Oh, that's a good one, Gia. What she said? Daughter. Oh, my gosh. Well, I, I had Abby at A, so I did uh, Abby. But that's a great one. <laughs> Suzanne said Darwin, her amazing husband. Ah. Uh -huh. Pretty in Pink is grateful for her dog. Nice. I can't believe I was up at two in the morning and then stupid me I put a movie on and then when you watch a movie like you can't get off it so it was like okay what are you doing to yourself it's four in the morning get to bed oh. and then says she's thankful for daylight like it I know a good D word that we're all thankful for, our dreaming. Yeah. Nana, Patty, I, now, Nana uh, 14, I've been loving your prayers every day to Nana uh, to dream. Love, love, love. She is thankful for donuts. <laughs> yeah, she's my type of girl. Yep. Yeah, I was getting hangry when we got up there because um, we went into town and we went to this uh, one restaurant that we ate in and um, Bob did not want to wait the, it would probably have been realistically 15 minutes in this line and I was already hungry and he's like, well, let's, he kept on looking at this like little map that tells you everything. Well, let's just look and, you know, investigate. I'm like, I am hungry. Let's go back to where we know it is good. And um, so we walked out of there, walked down to this one place, walked in. He goes, oh, I do remember this. I'm sorry, sir. We closed 15 minutes ago. <laughs> we oh, walked God. back to the other place. And I'm. it's a very small town. So I knew this, the pickings were going to be slim. And... Uh, a, a biker group had just walked in. So now there's 20 people uh, added to that line. 
Oh, and God. I said, let's just go. And he goes, well, we passed an Applebee's and a Chili's and a whatever coming in town. I'm like, I am in Brenham for the experience. I am not going to a chain restaurant for lunch. No, thank you. <laughs> um, Did you guys wait? No, we left and went to a a newer restaurant that had um, seafood. So we both got uh, shrimp, shrimp po' boys, and I got fried okra, and he got uh, French fries, and they it was very good. And we were possibly going to go back there and eat uh, steak and potato dinner, but then we got to Dollar Tree and saw there were a bunch of cars over this uh, Mexican place and oh my gosh, was it good? And he called the, sorry, the waiter over and said, can I ask how do you keep this plate so warm? It is still steaming from the time you set it down. He said, we put it on, they put it on the gas burner in the morning, the um, instead of a skillet, um, cast iron skillet it's a cast iron you know like when you get fajitas and that i yeah, guess like they, a hot plate yeah i guess they put the hot plate and he said from nine o'clock in the morning till they close those hot plates stay on that burner and his um rice and charl beans were still steaming after he was done eating it it was crazy wow I haven't made fajitas in a while. Maybe I'll, that's what I'll make. Ooh. I don't know if I've ever even made fajitas. All right. And if you're, you know, type AAA and that I'm giving this to my sister, she does not care. So it's going to look like that on the other side. <laughs> you're like if you're Latin, if you're like lavender, just discard it. <laughs> oh, got it. I try to do stuff offset just to kind of therapy myself. I can't do it. And Potter said she's not that way, but did you see she? I would really like that uh, ribbon to be longer, so the Pringle, the P, uh, that ribbon I have out on my front porch can hang longer. Oh. All right. That is coming out so cute. I think I have an extra little uh, clippy thing that I can find somewhere around here. I know I do. Or I might change them all out this week to different ones so they can all match and be substantial. Um, you know, they won't break. They can actually hold some. All right, I'm going to snip the jute off because it is not going to hang even and I should have done that before. Do you have the little clothes pins? That'd be cute to add to it. I know. I know I have them. I just don't know right where to find them. Oh, in my nifty little clothes <laughs> pin. <laughs> A little bit more, um, Oh, you don't have to, but I think it'd be cute on it. Did, what did you say to add to it, these? The little clothespins? Yeah, they already have three, do you see? But they're, I needed oh. four. So I'm going to okay, take on. these off and then paint them all so they can all be the matching. These are a little bit bigger, the ones I have. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't even see you put those on. I didn't put them on. They came with it. But okay, I'm taking them off in there. It's this it has a little thin piece of 
paper so i'm going to try not to rip the heck out of what i've already painted oh gosh oh gosh it's like a thinner piece of a scrapbook piece of paper down here Ah, uh, that's right. If you put the regular size uh, clothespins on the bottom of it, that's a cute, uh, pretty and pink. So that'd be cute for missing socks. Yeah. I saw it. Uh, it was actually a board with clothespins uh, at uh, Burke's, I think. And it said missing sock. Where's that missing sock or whatever? I'm like, oh, my gosh, how cute. Suzanne said she loves how all your little tools are just so handy right there by you. Thank you. Yeah, I I wanted to be able to look out that. Oh. Custom builder. There's been lots of, it just went on the market on Friday night, and there's been like at least three families, so hopefully it will sell fast. All right, I'm going to have to majorly fix this before I put the... Uh, up in Brenham, it's a very, very small town, and... For the most part, you the waiters were wearing masks, but nobody, very few people. I wore my mask, but very few people. And uh, Bob didn't have his on yet. And somebody, she, he said, do I need to put a mask on? And somebody said, it's optional. So I don't know if they've all gotten their vaccine or, or what. <laughs> Seems like everything is going a little bit at a time back to normal, huh? Yeah, it was nice being at that winery, and there's another family saying uh, they were actually talking, and they're Jehovah Witnesses, and they were talking about the the Bible, and uh, you know that the Bible prophes prophesies that this would happen, and this and that, and so then Bob was talking about when he was doing deliveries of babies and uh, Jehovah Witnesses would have to sign over because uh, they don't like uh, blood products when they're having surgery. And I was the only notary in the hospital. So I had to go up and notarize when little kids were having surgeries and their parents would say, don't give them any blood product. If So, uh, that was interesting to have that conversation with them. Suzanne said it's pretty normal where she's at. Hardly anybody wears masks. Wow. I still wear mine. Avalon Apples is back. Her internet is horrible today. Mine is too. I moved my computer down here to, to figure that new system out and... It doesn't like being moved. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with my computers because I have two desktops in here. And I want to take the other one out, but I use that other one for silhouette. All my bills. Oh, okay. It's like for all my bills, where I but sit and pay all my bills. You should be able to do that. If, I mean, your, all your bills are, is online. So that doesn't matter what computer, you know what I mean? You go through the internet to get to your bank anyway. Right, but I just, I don't know, the change for me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just so okay. used to everything just being set up and I'm not too comfortable putting my personal information in my new computer yet because I'm still trying to figure it out because it's kind of weird. It kind of downloads all kinds of stuff and I, you know, when you already have your one computer safe with everything. Yes. Oh, I just have to get off my thumb and 
figure out. I guess I could put this desktop in another room. I was going to bring, because obviously this is not going to let me move it around. Um, so I was going to bring, have my computer guy get Abby's old one that she had right before she left for college. And so I can have one for the cricket. Because I've got t-shirts to make. She's not the boss of me. That sounds a little judgy. Okay. I think that is what I'm going to do. And I think I will dry brush them. Hi, m and Mama. Hi, m and Mama. She said, hello, peeps. Cooking and listening. What are you cooking? What you cooking, good looking? <laughs> hey, hey, you're good looking. Uh, Suzanne's laughing. He's on that at my house. My husband still goes around town every month with his checkbook to pay the bills. I think my <clears throat> mom does that. And I know my friend that I that worked with me at my gift basket shop still does that. Drops off the water, drops off the power. I always sit on the same day every month, pay up all my bills. It's just habit. I usually do them on, at, on every Monday, and I keep it over here in this little desk organizer. But uh, I have not done it today, so it would probably behoove me to log on after we get off. But my daughter sends a check for her college loan and three times now it's taken me over 30, is it 90, over 90 days to get to the bank with it. And then it gets returned to her. So she said, next time that happens, I'm not, you're not drafting. And then I have to go. <laughs> get my and so I think they have, oh, I know they have, I just haven't set it up. The thing where you can screenshot your check and it goes into your bank account. So, because we got the uh, the other day, so uh, Suzanne says she's way too spoiled and not the bookkeeper of her family. She's all, but I do make the mashed potatoes though. <laughs> <laughs> I love being the bookkeeper because guess what? Then I only get my hand slapped around Christmas time instead of probably every week. <laughs> uh, there was, oh, a friend of mine probably, probably 18 years ago and her husband um, was a general manager at a car dealership and had their bank account on his screen and had it bling, bling, bling. She had twins, my daughter's age. So of course she was going to the grocery store a lot, but he would call her all the time. What did you just spend $62 at Kroger for? Uh, the kids, you know, lunches for this week. I'm like, oh, oh, God. oh hell no. Oh, <laughs> me either. Nope. Me. <laughs> We separate we separate our, our bill money and that and then we have our own mad money. Yes, well, but uh, Andy's really easy about whatever whatever I want. I could have whatever I want because I don't really ask for a lot. So when I really want something, she's like, "Get it? I'll get it for you." Yay.
I love when he calls me from Walmart. I'm by the crafting aisle. What do you need? Woo! I love it. I love it. And then I'll say, I'm not really looking for anything today. And then he'll still show up with stuff. Bob will do that at Home Depot for me. Not at Walmart. Dang it. Oh, the dogs, we don't let the dog, the girl doing feeding the dogs take them for a walk, so they are excited. I'm live, so. We're both on walk. Okay. Hey, Bob. I'll tell him. Yeah, I've been, I usually go for a walk with him. I hope they still smell good when they get home, but they probably won't. So cute. Oh, dang it. Lavender flower white, and you say, Tammy, you need two more for this other end. You knew this. <laughs> Look who you're asking to remind you of. I'm so blind. I already put my big brush in here, but let's see if I can. You work on stuff, and you're like, Look at this. And I'm like, Oh, then I have to wait for the delay until you see it on the bigger computer because I can't see it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to pour that into something else because that might not. Suzanne open. got her hair done Saturday. Suzanne uh, Huggins? Yep. Woo! Yes, I love this cold weather because the humidity, it's not all frizzy on me. Your hair's been looking really good. Thank you. My daughter said cute, uh, cute pick and cute hair. I'm like, oh my God, I got to frame this. Compliments. Suzanne said that she'll post a picture in Discord later. You will not believe the difference. I'm Ooh. 20 years younger. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Did you tell, I think you put it in our Discord. Did you get your hair cut as well? Oh, she said she went from stupid gray to the sexy hot brunette. Woo! Yes. Show us. She said that she went out and showed everybody that she saw, and they seriously didn't even know it was her. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Hot tamales. My aunt and uncle from Kansas City are coming in this week to stay with my parents. So we're going, everybody's going up to my parents. Uh, next Saturday, and then the next week, my aunt and cousin are coming down from my dad's side, and we're all going to a Mexican restaurant down here. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to add a jute thing, but I like it. Cute. She's going to like it. That's adorable. All right.
right. Um, tomorrow, I will try to do a pre-recorded video. And then um, Wednesday, we will be three with tea. All righty. So, uh, Suzanne, Suzanne said she wished she had big family like you to do with that. Ah, that's what we were talking about moving an hour and a half away. Bob's like, you will not leave your family. I said, I think I would. I think I would. It's only like an hour away. And, uh, so my, my sister's like, go for it. We would love to come out and stay, but the money, the money is not, uh, so we'll, we will have to get a littler property <laughs> and think about it. Uh, so are you guys going to move from your house? Up to Brenham, uh, you, you must have not been on when uh, the house, the um, bed and breakfast that we stayed at years ago with the kids is for sale and it's 750000 Yeah, you were on here because you said your money's tied up. You can't loan it to me. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I might do a burlap. Uh, I'll come up with jute and then I'll do a little burlap uh, crossbow thing and I'll take a picture and it'll be in. Um, That's so cute. Tammy's, whatever, however she has me in there for the crafts. Yeah. And yes, just the little dollar um, jar right there. So, um yeah, we're not moving any anytime soon, but uh, gosh, it was it was neat to dream. So I told everybody on my pre-record today, if you have an opportunity to get out of town, um, it was like a twenty-four hour out of town. We we did we went to three wineries. We went uh, try to go shopping for antiquing, uh, a Mexican restaurant, a seafood restaurant. What else did we, oh, in the, in the blue bonnet, the reason we went up there and it just felt like it truly felt like we were out of town for a, um, a week. So I encourage you all. Just, what'd you just say? I said, how fun. It was fun. It was just the two of us. Uh, we were rocking on the, in the, on the little love uh, seat. And he said, do you wish uh, Abby and, and Corey and Andrew were right there. And I said, nope, I kind of like it. Just you and I and uh, whatever. He goes, what you were just saying today, you wish Andrew would call you more. I go, well, call me more and be right here on our little, because I said, well, it's basically our honeymoon, or not honeymoon, our anniversary weekend. He goes, well, no, we're going to Kansas City. Then we're going up to Oklahoma with Andrew and I said exactly with everybody this is our only time to just for our only time so we will be doing it way more often because we both love Brenham and it is an hour and a half away so um it was fun what fun yes yeah, Suzanne we do know we are blessed same with uh Gia her family gets together almost every Sunday over her house but um we don't get together every Sunday, but we do get together a lot. Um, so much so that like we're invited over to my brother and sister-in-law's house Thursday, just Bob and I. And he goes, why aren't we going to see them um, Saturday up at your mom's house? I go, yeah. Well, they invited us over to dinner, honey. <laughs> so yes, we'll see them Thursday. And then we'll also see them Saturday. And my dad sometimes is the same way. My mom would have, we would, we would be, see each other every day, just like my sisters. We'd see each other every day if we could. And sometimes my dad is like, well, we just saw everybody, you know, uh, last night, Dan. Uh-huh. And we have, they have the beach house for five days. So we're going to see everybody for five days. <laughs> uh. I think he likes the quietness, you know, when you're just, used to just you and your uh, spouse, I think they got get used to the quietness. And then when it's all the family and there's, I think the youngest one is four now. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's loud, but it's fun. So, all right, everybody. Um, thanks for you guys all have on. a blessed day. Yes. Have a blessed rest of your day. 
Stay crafty, stay kind, and we will see you three with tea on Wednesday. Bye, guys. Thanks, Lavender. Bye. Bye.